Hi, in this video tutorial I will cover the basic usage of the Stripe subscription payments add-on. To be able to complete this tutorial on your own site, you'll need to have both the base Stripe payments plugin and the Stripe subscription payments add-on installed and activated. You'll also need access to your Stripe account. The Stripe subscription payments add-on gives you the ability to offer your customers subscription products and services. All ongoing credit card payments for a subscription are handled by the Stripe Payment Gateway. This gym subscription product shown on the screen was created using the Stripe Payments plugin and the Stripe Payments subscription add-on. I have now logged into my WordPress account where I have the Stripe subscription payments add-on installed and activated. Under the Stripe Payments plugin, I can see two new menu options, subscription plans and subscriptions. Before we go ahead and create our very own plan, we'll need to configure some general settings needed for the functionality of this add-on. So we'll need to click on the Settings menu under Stripe Payments. Once we're in the Settings menu, we'll need to click on the Subscriptions tab. To configure the settings needed for this add-on, we'll need to locate our Live Webhook Signing Secret and our Test Webhook Signing Secret from within our Stripe account. I have now logged into my Stripe account and I've clicked on the Webhooks menu under Developers. It brings you to this page here where you'll need to click the Add Endpoint button. You'll need to copy your Webhook URLs and paste them in this field. You'll need to create your Webhook endpoints one by one. I'll show you how I'll create my test Webhook endpoint. So to create my test webhook endpoint, I'll need to copy my test webhook URL. So I'll copy this and then I'll need to paste it into the URL field. So I've pasted that in and I'll just simply click the add endpoint button. Now that I've created the endpoint, by clicking on that, I can reveal my signing secret key. Click to reveal here and then copy your signing secret key. Simply paste the signing secret key into the correct field. For me, I'll be pasting it into the test webhook signing secret because that is the one I've configured. Although if you're doing your live webhook, you'll need to paste the live webhook signing secret into this field here. So once you've completed this configuration that is needed to use this add-on, you can save the changes you've made. We've installed and activated the add-on We've configured the subscription settings, so now it's time to create our first subscription plan. To create a plan, you'll need to click on the subscription plans menu. Here you can see all the plans that you've previously created, but you can also add a new plan. So I'll go ahead and I'll click this button. This will bring me to the add new plan page. On this page, you'll find a number of fields that you can customize to suit the plan you wish to offer. I'll now create a simple test plan to walk you through each field. I'll start by giving my plan a title. Next, I'll need to choose the currency that I'd like to offer this plan in. I'll be sticking with US dollars. In the amounts field is where I'll enter the price I'd like to charge my customers on every billing cycle. For this plan, I'll be charging my customers $59.95. The billing interval is on what basis you would like to charge your customers. This can be every 30 days, every month, every year. So for this, I'm gonna be charging my customers every 28, and then I'm choosing days from the drop-down menu. In the duration, you can specify the number of payments that will be charged before the customer's subscription is canceled. So here I'm going to be going with 12 periods, so 12 times my billing interval and then my customer subscription will be cancelled. If you don't want to cancel your customer subscription, you can enter zero. This way, your customer can cancel it themselves when they're ready to exit the subscription or you can cancel it from the back end of your site. You can offer your customers a trial period, which is in days. For instance, if you want to give the first 10 days of the subscription for free, you'd simply just enter in 10. So now that I've entered in those fields, I'll scroll up. I need to select a mode in which this plan will be created. I'll be sticking with test mode as I'll just be running this as a trial. 
So I'll create the plan. Now that I've created a simple plan, I'll need to add this plan to a product so that my customers can pay for it. So I'll need to go to add new product where I'll just create a simple product. You will create this product the same way you do with every other Stripe Payments plugin product. The only difference is in the price and currency section, we will apply the subscription plan to the product. So I'll go ahead and show you. I'll be offering a simple hair salon service. So I'll now add a description that just states what they will be paying for. I'll scroll down. Here in the price currency section, for a simple product, you'd pick a one-time payment. Although for the subscription product, like we are creating in this tutorial, you need to select the subscription circle. This will allow you to select a plan that you'd like to apply to this product. So from the drop down, I'll need to select the plan. This is the one I just created. Like every other product, you can specify a quantity, you can include a download URL, you can have a product thumbnail, you can choose to collect address, add shipping and tax, direct them to a thank you page after a successful transaction, and you can change the button text and CSS class. So for this, I might just edit the button text to subscribe now. So I've now created the product and all that's left to do is publish it out. I'll show you now what my subscription product looks like. So my, I'm offering my cut service. I've got my description. And because it's a subscription product, the terms are stated here. Free for 10 days, then $59.95 every 28 days for 12 periods. A customer can simply come here, read my description, read the terms, and click the subscribe now button. This will take them to the Stripe payment pop-up where they can pay with their credit card and click the pay button. I've been directed to a checkout results page, but you can also state a thank you page where your customer will be directed to. Now that you've seen how a successful customer would check out with a subscription product, we'll need to go back to our WordPress dashboard. Under Stripe Payments, click on the Subscriptions menu. This is where you can see all the customers that have subscribed to your site. You can see their status, active, active, these two customers are on trial periods, but once that trial period ends, their status will go to active. You can see the subscription plan that they are enrolled in. You can see the subscription date and you can see the customer's email. If we click view details, this will allow us to see more about that customer. Here is where you can also cancel a customer's subscription. Note, once you've cancelled a subscription, this action cannot be undone. That brings me to the end of this tutorial on the Stripe subscription payments add-on. If you still have any further questions on this add-on, please don't hesitate to contact us. You can also find further written documentation on our website.